What's up everybody? Welcome back to my laboratory where safety is number one priority and today I'm going to put to the test peanut butter and jelly sandwich gadgets. Let's see what I got. For the first gadget I got here a sandwich sealer and also a stamp that is going to look like a panda. All the instructions is in different language. I assume that's Japanese but pictures are very simple to figure it out anyways. Okay, step one, you grab the bread and stamp this down like this. Then take it out and do same thing with the second piece of bread. Now grab one of the pieces of bread and use the stamp to stamp the design. Boom. Whoa, look at that. Oh yeah, and I can stamp the other piece of bread too. And wow, stamped it out so well that is on both sides it will be upon the face. Then you lay it back over here. Got some jam, stick it all in here. Cover it back and then cut it. Stamp it all the way, just like that. Then we take it out and see what happens. Do I just rip this open? I have no idea. Yep, I am I guess. I guess I could be using a knife. But it also falls off pretty good because we stamped it so well. But to make it prettier you probably want to use a knife. A little bit disappointed that you have to use a knife to take off some of the bread. I was hoping it would just cut off automatically the crust. But look at that, that is cute peanut butter jelly. Not as cute as the picture, as you can see they have a perfect one. But pretty close I would say, I like it so far. For the next peanut butter and jelly Buddha Broad gadget we got here sandwich stamp. Boom! So you press it like that and it's supposed to cut off the bread. Okay, let's see if it actually works really well. First, spread some jelly. That might be too much, but keep it in a circle. So that way it won't come out. Then same thing with peanut butter, right in the middle. Then you put it down like that, and then grab this press, slicer cutter, right in the middle of it, and then you stamp it, and then twist it. Probably best to do it on a cutting board so that way you stamp it, then twist it like that, and that way it cuts it and press it at the same time. Get it? So this one press it, and this part is cutting it by twisting it. And then you can just remove this bread, boom. This is what I was hoping this one would do to make it perfect, but it doesn't have the cutter inside here. Wow, this is beautiful, looks like pirajok. This is awesome, the bird was a bit too small, that's why we have a little bit of a crust over here. But still, makes sense, right? I cannot wait to try it. I'm gonna do a taste test of all of them a day and then cut them in half. So as you can see, this is a simple one, but so effective. So if you don't care about designs, I would go with this one. For the next PB&J gadget I got here, Buddha Bird stamps. Let's see what they're all about. And then spread peanut butter, lay it together, and best to put it on a cutting board so that way it doesn't slide out. Figure it out where it would fit to where you're not cutting the crust as well. And then cut it down, again, move it up and down so that way it cuts it everywhere. And then just remove this crust and then use the stamp, see what happens. I should stamp it even more. Oh wow, kind of burst a little bit, but can we see the actual design? It's hard to tell on this one. Can you guys see the dog? Oh, there you go. If you look at it like that in the shade, you can really see it. Burst a little bit here and there, but I'd say it looks pretty awesome. Same thing, got the jelly, then you stick the bread on top of it, and then we want to cut it. And 
and then just say move. Boom. And then stamp it. Stamp it a little well. It should seal it. Remove that. And then remove the sandwich. Boom. Again, the gem have come out, but can we see the cat? There you go, there's a kitty. It's pretty cool, but it's kind of pen it's straight. The gems too, and the design almost invisible. For the next gadget, I got here a little different stamp and cutter. Boom. You can actually make two of them from a one piece of bread. Okay, step one, we make the shape. Boom. Two. Now we got the shapes right here. Looks really nice. Then you flip over and I guess you spread it right here a bit of jelly. Then I would cut this in half and then place this piece on top of this piece. Then I seal it like this. And then I use the cutter and a sealer at the same time. And once again, you can just pull the bird out or even use a knife if it doesn't cut all the way. If you have that different bird, doesn't cut as well, you can use that. Boom. Okay, let's uh, move it. And look at that, you got yourself a little panda bear. That is awesome. Tiny mini sandwich. That is my favorite probably. For the kids, they're going to love it. For the next gadget, I got here Medved Shape Peanut Butter and Jelly Maker. Okay, let's see how it works. One, put jelly. Two, put peanut butter. Three, put it on top of each other. Once again, I'll do this on cutting board. This is what it's going to look like. This one is not a cutter, so it's just a press. You're going to press it down really, really hard and maybe use a knife to remove the rest of the bread so that way it will shape it and will look really good but honestly you can just rip it off it works pretty good some pieces you'll better use a knife that way it will look a bit better okay this midweight could be the best gadget oh how do I take it out now there you go wow midweight turned out to be really good Push this down a bit. That bird is kind of weird. But there you go, you got here smiling medvede. I like this gadget probably the most because it turned out super well. With a better bread, it would look even better. But I didn't have to do so many steps. Just smash it and that's it. For the next sandwich mater, we got here Spider-Man. Check this out. This sandwich maker is made by Marvel and Disney. Boom, wow, look at the spiders. This is, could be my favorite now. I can't believe it. Then obviously you drop the sandwich in like that. Spread the jelly. Make sure the bread is big enough. Spread it around a little bit if you have to. Then put it on top of it right here. And then we use this one to close it. And once again, you just remove that. Again, I prefer to use a knife actually because it's a bit easier to remove it. And that way it doesn't look all broken up. Boom. And one more over here. Then let's pull this out. Wow, look at that. Look at that. This is probably my favorite too. That Spider-Man sandwich looks awesome. For the next couple, they are very simple ones. Just cut the bread without the design. This one stamps it, this one cuts it. That's pretty much self-explanatory because this one is the same one, but it has a little bit cooler design. Let's try to use this one instead. Spread varenge in the middle and spread peanut masla right here. Then slap it together, boom. Push this first, shape it, and then cut it. 
the best way I notice is just wiggle a little bit so that way it cuts it really, really well. Let me just use a cutter now. There you go. Oh, that's so satisfying to cut off the crust like that. And check this out, this one have busted, that bread is just very different. And now this looks like a clover. Check this out. So what you could do, even cut them in pieces. Wow. Check out these little sandwiches. That's so much more fun to eat sandwiches like that. I would eat it like that too, not just for kids. And I have a couple other shapers, but they're pretty much self-explanatory. This one just like Spider-Man, but I do want to make a heart just to see what it's going to look like. Got peanut butter, got jelly. Put two pieces of birds together. I'm going to shape it first. Then I'm going to cut it. You can even use the board to cut it. If it doesn't cut all the way, use a knife. So that way it's prettier. But for the most part, it comes off pretty easy. And now we're gonna dump it out. This actually turned out to be so awesome. This sandwich looks like a heart. Beautiful. You know what, I didn't realize Spider-Man has a different logo right here. So you can Put one logo right here, stamp it really good. Wow, check out this logo. I kind of like this one better. Then we press it. Press it as hard as you can. Yeah, this one turned out way better. Let me just show you. Wow, check out that Spider-Man logo. I know, which one do you guys like, this one or that one? Spider you can see a little bit better than the spider web right here, but super cool. Well guys, very delicious sandwiches. If I break it open, check this out. I just ate few of them. They're so delicious. This hot one too. Ooh, it's so delicious. It just keeps all the stuff inside of it. There's a Spider-Man one. I just love how it seals it. That way whenever you bite it, it doesn't come out on the other side. Let me know in comments below which sandwich press was your favorite. Don't forget to thumbs up this video and I'll see you next time.